The Rio Dos Futurity coverage on StallionEsearch.com is brought to you by the Sires, A Revenant at Dunn Ranch, and Jess Good Candy standing at Lazy E Ranch. And hello again, everyone. I'm Greg Thompson at StallionEsearch.com up here on the mountain. Typical Rio Dosa weather. Hot and sunny when we first get here, and then it starts raining. Typical Rio Dosa. Kicking off the Triple Crown of 2021, and of course, we bring it to you as if you're here along the rail in Rio Dosa watching this big grade one event. Attorney hopping in the air at the start was VIP and Revenant Moon got up a bad break as well. And to the outside, just fire me, it's just fire me, tactical fire. Here's just saving candy with the surge, and then favorite blues man, just saving candy, just saving candy is gonna win the Red of Eternity. this off the John Ewing 
really said this horse had a, he could get the 350. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think he gets better from here if he stays healthy and sound. What kind of indication this horse gave that he was going to run this kind of race? Yeah, you know what? He's super sound, and I didn't change a thing. I got him ready just like we did for the trials, and that's always a huge advantage. It didn't work in the Heritage for LS Jack back because he got a bad go away from the gate, kind of lost his footing, but it worked today. I think anytime you have that, you're not changing stuff up, you're in good shape. This horse is paid up in all three? Yes, sir, he is. And I think he liked the grass. the gates the way. I didn't have a good start, yeah. but um, he did the same. He broke like in the trials and in the about halfway there, I saw the eight in front and I just asked my horse. I wanted to go left-handed on him, but I felt like if I did, I made a mess up on him. So I just kind of just stayed after him right and he caught up to that horse. He's a big, nice horse. He, he would go to the distance. Last 50 yards, did you feel you had it won? I think, I, yeah, I, I felt like I was inching on him and I felt like the, I looked at the wire and it was still a little bit ways and I felt like I was going to get it. Tell me that feeling crossing the wire when the great, big grade one finally up here on the mountain. Yes, sir. I'm just, you know, I'm so blessed and thank to God and my family and the trainers, owners. I mean, I can't tell you everybody because everybody has helped me in the, in the in my career, and I just got to thank God and everybody, sir. And you could go a little further. I've always told John, you know, the, I think, and everybody, I, I think this horse, the further he goes, the better he's going to get. That's he's just a big horse. So you're looking forward to the... Looking forward to all three of them, if, if, if that's what they want. If they want to skip one, then we'll just go with what they want. Congratulations, Francis. Thank you very much, Greg. A top sire that continues to prove his royal bloodline in the quarter horse racing industry, Jess Good Candy. The sire of one of the top qualifiers going into the 2021 $1 million Grade 1 Rio Dosa Futurity, Jess Saving Candy. And only in his second crop of runners, Jess Good Candy has already sired a champion and a Grade 1 winner in Dolce Centacha, the winner of the $1 million Texas Classic Futurity. And these runners are just following in their sire's footsteps, as he was a millionaire, an All-American Futurity winner, and a champion himself before entering into the sire ranks. And now the sire of the 2021 $1 million Rio Dosa Futurity winner, Jess Saban Candy. Standing at Lazy E Ranch in Guthrie, Oklahoma, royalty in the quarter horse sire ranks, Jess Good Candy.